Hello friends, welcome to this session. In one of my previous sessions, I have shown you how you can deploy your containers in AWS Fargate behind Network Load Balancer and then make it available for your users through API Gateway. That way you can scale them up. Now if you want to secure your API Gateway so that only authenticated users can access your application running in AWS Fargate, then we can use Cognito. So in this session, we will see how you can configure Cognito and configure API Gateway so that only authenticated users can get access to your application. Now I have this setup already configured and running. In case you want to know how to set this up, I will share the link in the description. You can follow that. I will start from here where API is already running and how you can configure Cognito and make authentication work for the user. So now if you see in API Gateway, I have this API and I have some routes created here for accessing my application, get, post, get articles. And if I show in Postman, if I try to access right now the API Gateway, I can see the home page. If I want to access the articles which it serves, I can see that. So API Gateway is accessible by any user who has this URL. I want to use authorization for each of the endpoint which is exposed. So the user when tries to access either post or get should be authenticated and if the user is allowed to do that action then only that endpoint should work. Now for that to happen we'll go to AWS Cognito. We'll create a user pool. I have already created this JWT auth user pool. In the user pool, you just create user. You can click on create user, give user name, uncheck these, give a username, password and create user. That's the way I have created these two users. Then we'll create app client. Click on add app client, give some name. Make sure generate client secret is unchecked and rest is left as is. Create app client. App client is created, you will get a app client ID. Along with that, app client settings will get created. We'll configure this very soon. First, we'll go to resource server and create a resource server. Give a name here, RS resource server and identifier, let's say test. I will give scopes as read scope, which will be for get operations and write scope, which will be for post operations. Create this resource server and save it. After creating resource server, we'll create domain name and you can give any domain name here. We'll go with AWS Cognito domain. So I'll try some name, check availability of it. This is available, so save it. And now we'll configure app client settings. App client settings, first of all, check Cognito user pool so that any user in this user pool is authenticated. Callback URL. For timing, I am just giving uh, a dummy URL, google.com, you can give anything else. This URL will be given the code which we will need, the authorization code will be sent to this URL. So we will need for that. Then we will check this authorization code grant. We will receive authorization code and in exchange of that code we will get a token through which we can access our APIs. And allowed custom scopes, right now we will select both read and write and save the changes. So the app client is now configured. After configuring Cognito, we'll go back to API Gateway and we'll create authorization. For that, click here, create and attach an authorizer, select JWT, give some name. Let me give JWT authorizer, any name. Leave identity source as is, and this is the field which will pass with the token when we'll make a call from Postman. Enter a issuer URL, which will be something like HTTPS cognito minus IDP dot your region. My region is southeast minus two dot and Amazon AWS dot com and slash we have to add the user pool ID, which you will get it from cognito general settings here. This is a pool ID. Copy this, save it here. Audience will be nothing but the app client. So app client, take the app client ID and update 
here this should be IDP create and attach so it's created and attached to get operation for articles similarly we'll attach for post and we will leave it right now for the home call so just to see what happens when we make this call now API gateway is configured and we'll try to test it by making calls from postman to do that first we'll go to cognito click on app client settings and below here you'll see launch hosted UI when you click that it will ask for username password so the user who is trying to access the API gateway has to authenticate himself so this is the username password and once it is authenticated it will return with this authorization code copy this authorization code go to postman and create a new call a post call where we'll send this request to this domain name this is the same domain name which we created in cognito so copy this URL from here and append it with OAuth2 slash token and add these parameters client underscore ID and this will be value again from Cognito app client copy that and update grant type authorization code redirect URI is same as what we set up in app client settings and code is the code which we received when the user logged in and send so you see we have received access token now you can quickly copy this token and go to jwt.io and paste it to see what we receive in payload for this token and if you see here we have scope test read test write and client ID username so we'll use this token now to access our API so first we'll go back to our API gateway and if you see here this get operation is not requiring authorization so we'll go back to postman and try get home page and see whether it works and you see it is still working because it's not configured to use JWT authorizer now let's see get articles if we send this request and it's unauthorized and if you see in API gateway we have actually applied JWT authorizer so that's why it is looking for authentication now here we have not added any scope so when we send a request from postman with authorization so we'll add header and authorization we'll place the access token which we receive and we'll send it again and you see this has worked so when we have not placed any scope here all the scopes which we got in our JWT token it has test read and test write so it just works for it but we could have actually added scope which says just test read and save it similarly for post we can say test write I will show you how this works so right now if in postman for post article there also if we send the same access token and try to create a new record let's say this one so you see it has created status 200 if you want to see the, all the articles we can run the request again and you can see it has actually posted now let's make one change and see whether scopes actually take effect you go back to AWS Cognito app client settings and we remove write scope save the changes once again we launch hosted UI sign in with the user we get a new code copy this code go to postman authorization token and pass this code send the request to get a new token so now you see we have received new token let's copy this check it in JWT IO and in the payload you can see it has only scope for read now let's go back to postman and we'll apply the same token for get articles also we'll apply the same for post now first we'll try accessing get articles and you can see it's working now we'll try with post we'll try to post a 
new article now send and as expected it's forbidden now because the scope in the token doesn't allow to access post operation so this won't work so you can see you can actually safeguard secure your API endpoints through API gateway using Cognito I hope this helps you to understand this and you can try it out thank you so much for watching this session and we'll see you in next one thanks